Hey, 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 everybody. How are you this morning? Happy Tuesday, everybody, and welcome to this week's um, Business Growth Insights. Um, say hi if you're joining me. I hope you're having a fantastic week so far. I know my week is absolutely flat out and I'm going to share with you why coming up if you want a little bit of a hint just check what's scrolling across the bottom of the screen um, but oh my goodness can you believe that we are almost halfway through the year I'm like oh my god so I know yes we're only we're only getting towards the end of May now but you know only one month and then we're literally halfway through 2023 like oh my god how the heck did that happen <laughs> All right, everybody. So um, as you can see, as I've said, we've, these are our business growth insights training um, on Tuesday mornings where I come live every single Tuesday morning and give you some really great advice on how you can build, grow and scale your businesses. And if you are joining me this morning, I would love to have you say hi, say good day, pop your name in the comments. Um, and if you are going, if now you'll see that I'm going live on a platform called StreamYard, um, and you can see here that someone has commented, good morning, gorgeous. Now, I don't know who Very this is. Close, yeah. Um, if you would like to, um, show so Claire can see, so I can see Claire's comment here. If you would like us to see your name, just go into the description above and press the link that will give StreamYard permission to see your name. Because I love seeing who I'm talking to. I like to feel like I'm in the room with you rather than talking at a computer screen. <laughs> and I know I say that every single time I come live, but it is really true. I love to be, um, I love to know who I'm talking to. So good morning, Claire. Thank you for joining me this morning. All right, everyone. So I've got something a little bit different. Normally, I would um, share a presentation with you, but I'm not going to do that this morning. Oh, and I forgot to say, if you're watching the replay, pop hashtag replay so I can come back and say hi. Um, now, I'm not going to have a present. I don't have a presentation to share with you today because I just want to have a little bit of a chat, right? Because as you can see, today's topic is all about harnessing network opportunities in business. And so this is why I wanted to be a little bit more personal. Um, why can't you see me normally? It's Erin. I don't know, darling. Sometimes you'd have to give the stream out permission to see your name again. I don't know, sweetheart. Um, anyway, so we, as I said, we're talking about harnessing networking opportunities. And this is why I'm, I'm doing it the way I'm doing, because um, networking is all about being you, showing people how amazing you are and making these connections with people. And it's interesting, you know, because I used to avoid networking in my business at all costs. I was, um, when I started in business, those of you who don't know my history back in 2018, really early uh, 2018, I started um, a business as a virtual assistant. And at this stage, I was really recovering from a lot of mental um, illness. So, you know, um, PTSD from stressful work environment, toxic work environment, anxiety and depression. So putting myself out there and networking, I was literally avoiding it at all costs, okay? And also because this might surprise some of you because I can be a little bit shy, especially in in-person situations, okay? Um, good morning, Lucia. How are you? <laughs> yes, yes, we're going to talk about the expo later. Um, so what it, what it showed me when I had started business and I was avoiding these networking opportunities is that I wasn't actually getting any business and I was I was looking at these um, and at the time it was in-person networking that I was doing. I was looking at these um, networking meetings and opportunities through the wrong lens. I was looking at them uh, the wrong way, okay? Now, in all honesty, once things became, uh, you know, to 2020 hit was when I actually really got serious about my business and I decided, you know, enough is enough, I'm going to do this. Um, when things actually became online, I personally found it a lot easier because, um, you know, I was I didn't have to go into a room full of strangers, okay, because sometimes I recognise that that can be a bit daunting. However, I'm going to talk through some, you know, reasons why, you um, you know, we need to, and this is me too, I've had to push myself through that discomfort. I've had to do a lot of mindset work to be able to go and network in these in-person uh, situations as well as online as well. Now, so 
when we think about networking, okay, what are some reasons that we need to network? And these are the things that I really had to um, hone in on. You know, like, why am I going to these networking meetings? I originally had the thought that, oh, you know what? I'm just going to go. I'm going to meet someone. They're going to become my client. I'm going to become their virtual assistant and everything's going to be hunky-dory. I'm going to make some money. It's going to be great. Well, that's actually not what happened at all. I made... Um, you know, and, and often at these networking meetings, you will go, you'll, you'll throw your business card at someone, they'll throw theirs back at yours, you'll go home with a heap of business cards and they just all sit aside in a pile, never to be looked at again, right? However, if you look at a network meeting um, as something other than just sharing your business card with everybody, this is how they can help you. These are some reasons that you want to go and network with people. So first of all, it absolutely does help with your social well-being. Now, when I did really start, um, you know, going to network meetings both online and offline with the new Outlook, it was more to, um, to just talk with people, not throw my business card at them. And so I found for myself, you know, instead of walking into a room with, you know, um, you know, here, just here's my business card, use my service. It was walking into a room to, to, to help me. And so it was absolutely helping with my social well-being and my boosting my confidence as well as a business owner, you know, starting to just simply talk to and connect with fellow business owners with no necessary with not necessarily any agenda in mind just to get to know them and connect with them now through the discussions when you meet people through discussions you can you know you can get ideas these networking sessions you know whether whether someone's presenting or whether you're it's a session where you're just talking to other people and meeting other people you can absolutely get new ideas from other people you can give ideas to them and I've got so many brilliant ideas, you know, brilliant if I do say so myself, um, from other people that I've met at networking meetings. Um, now, also what it does, of course, and this is, yes, this is the reason, but we don't want to make this the main reason that we go to these networking meetings. We want it, yes, to, ex to expand your visibility. Of course, putting yourself out there in business is all about being visible. Okay, those of you who know me, I've spoken on this um, numerous times and I will continue to speak on it. We need to be visible. People aren't going to know that you're in business unless you let them know you're in business. So when you go to networking meetings, you do, you know, more often than not, you get a chance to do your 30 second elevator pitch. And even if it doesn't necessarily lead to clients as such, what's going to happen is you are still going to meet new people and you never know where it's going to lead. And so it can lead. And in my case, it has and on several occasions, it can lead to powerful ongoing connections and collaborations. Absolutely. So not, and has it led to clients? Absolutely, it's led to clients. Absolutely. Good morning, beautiful. I don't know who this is, but good morning to you and thank you for calling me beautiful. It's very good for my ego. <laughs> um, sorry about my sniffing, guys. It's really uh, cold here this morning. That's why I've still got my hoodie on. Um, okay, so when I look back at the way... Um, networking has helped me in person and this is the way that you can think of it as the ways that they can it can help you as well and I'm talking again I'm talking about both offline and online now obviously in the last few years many of us have gone virtual um, I have mainly gone virtual I do go to a few networking sessions here and there in person I'm actually I have made a conscious decision that in um, the second half of the year I'm actually going to do that a lot more I'm going to, you know, once I move back to Adelaide, um, I'm 100% going to be going into more in-person networking events, but still while still remaining virtual as well. So how it's helped me personally and how I know that it's going to help you is it has led to things like interviews, like podcast interviews, interviews in Facebook groups, um, speaking gigs, right, speaking gigs in uh, people's meetups. I haven't yet... Uh, no, actually, I have. I've had uh, in-person speaking gigs. I have several in-person in speaking gigs from networking sessions that it's led to. Now, this is part of that visibility, guys. 
This is what helps you remain visible, okay? Because again, you've got to, you've got to put yourself out there to be seen. And I mentioned it just before. It, you, you can be led to um, starting business collaborations. And um, this is essentially how I actually started doing my, um, my virtual expo, my heart and soul virtual expo. So you can see the little, um, you know, logo do flicky up in the corner there. Um, and I'm going to share with you in a little bit in a moment how you can um, get involved in that for free as a networking opportunity. Um, and the business collaboration. So let me tell you, let me tell you a story. <laughs> so <laughs> I actually got involved in a virtual expo. Um, it's the five foot rope virtual expo. I got involved in that. I think three years ago now. I actually can't remember. It's been so long. Um, and a beautiful lady called Susie Manley runs these virtual expos, right? And not only did I see her, but something in me said, I'm going to work with this lady one day. And it was just like a fleeting thought. And um, I got involved in her virtual expo. I paid the fee. I, you know, I, I did everything that we needed to do. Um, and I started just connecting with her in person via, you know, via messenger. We started just chatting, making a connection that way. Now, over the years, we have developed a really great friendship. And not only now, I took her virtual idea, her virtual expo idea, and I have now created my own virtual expo. She supports me in everything I do. I support her in everything she does. We, uh, you know, we, and, uh, we just love it right because we we think similarly we work very similarly and as well as that on top of that this simple networking opportunity in these virtual expos has now led to us collaborating in business which is just so powerful so we've you know um, and you, you'll hear about it coming up in the next few months i'm sure we've got this this really cool powerful collaboration that we are starting together so it's it's amazing yes and like you said you know networking grows and connects and connects with people absolutely so this is how this has helped me personally now i know that networking can help you as well a hundred percent it can so when we start to look at it more as an opportunity and fun, right, rather than something that we have to do, and once we embrace all the different ways that we can get out there, and there are so many different ways, right, this is when things can start to happen with us, happen for us, and happen potentially with other people, those collaborations, right? So think about happy hour business meetings, right? <laughs> What's the saying? It's always five o'clock somewhere, right? <laughs> um, I know that when I was doing um, back when I was being a VA, these were the types of um, networking meetings that I was going to, like happy hour, you know, just come to a pub, have a drink. And this was when I was making the mistake of just throwing my <laughs> throwing my business card at people and hoping for the best. But again, you know, talk to people, make genuine connections and don't just go in with, into a conversation going, with the thought pattern, what can you do for me? That's what a lot of us do and that's what I used to do. I used to go in with the thought, what can you do for me and how can you help me in business? It actually should be the other way around. How can I help you? What value can I provide for you within this conversation? I want to learn about you. There's a really big tip, okay? Make it all about them the person that you're talking to rather than all about you. I'm getting excited because I keep hitting my microphone. <laughs> um, okay, so you can also, there are also like a heaps of, you know, depending on what industry you're in, there are heaps of industry specific meetings um, where you'll go, you know, and there'll be specific speakers um, <laughs> that are going to help you in your industry. So, you know, for instance, I, I'm in the coaching industry. There are so many meetings that, that I go to um, where there's different coaches, uh, you know, talking about different ways that you can grow your business. There's all that type of stuff, okay? Um, and you never know who you're going to sit next to at these things. Or you never know who, for instance, if you're in a Zoom room, who you might say, oh, you do something similar to what I do, and then you just connect with them privately. That's networking, guys. This is creating genuine connections. And this is what I'm all about. 
genuine connections. Um, seminars and conferences, really similar things, okay? So, you know, you can go, uh, whether it's a paid conference, whether it's a free conference, whatever it is. Again, you never know who you're going to sit next to, who you're going to talk to, who you're going to connect with. Panel discussions, right? So I mentioned interviews before. Now, panel discussions, um, I have actually booked in for uh, four upcoming panel discussions, um, all with an incredible um, collaboration, an incredible business called Sake Review. Um, and so I believe there's four of us on each panel. So every single panel discussion I do, there's three other people that I have the opportunity to connect with and get to know. You know what I mean? So, and who I might not have ever met before. So panel discussions, I and I actually really look forward to these because not only do you get to meet people, but you learn a lot. Um, I actually, I love panel discussions. I was really nervous to do them. Um, I've done a few now, but I was really nervous to do them at, at the start because part of me goes, I don't know enough and I'm going to look silly if I say something silly in front of all these other professionals who do something similar to what I do. But I've, I've had to learn to put that aside and just go, you know what, I know my stuff. I'm going to believe that I know my stuff and I'm going to, again, look forward to connecting with these three other people or however many are on the panel. I don't actually know yet. <laughs> um, there's other things like professional associations. Um, you know, um, if you have to, I don't know, have a membership for your particular um, work that you do. There's casual contact networks. So, you know, you again, that's kind of taking it back to the happy hour. You might, there might um, be like just a general business networking session that you're involved in. And these are everywhere. Like, you know, these are like B&I and stuff like that. Um, five Foot Rope, Susie, Five Foot Rope has great virtual um, online um, connections and opportunities to do this. Um, community service clubs. That's a really good one. So, you know, yes, this you can see this is more personal, but you and you might want not, not want to go into community um, networks with the idea of, you know, like trying to sell your stuff. But you, but again, you never know who you're going to connect with. So, you know, I mean, I might be involved in a singing group or I might be involved in an exercise, um, you know, group. Um, but you never know who's going to be in those groups and the conversation will just naturally lead when someone asks me what I do you know I help people to um, build go and scale their home-based businesses oh my god I have a home-based business right and it's not me it's just me answering their question or it could go the other way around either way social media where are we right now? We are on social media, right? Um, you know, you can go into other people's groups, um, markets. Claire Williams here, our Claire Bear, um, runs incredible Claire Bear markets, which I'm also involved in, and I've made dozens of connections in these markets over the couple of over the last couple of months. Um, and of course, virtual expos, virtual expos. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah. Social media is a fantastic place to make connections. Now, you might think, you know, like I've said, sometimes I feel a little bit separated, but I love to have people, I love to see your comments coming through. I love to say you um, say hi to you. I love to come back and say hi if you're watching the replay, hashtag replay if you are, you know. Um, but the markets and the expos, are ex virtual expos, damn straight, Lucia, they are the absolute bomb. And just FYI, I'm going to share a little bit more, but we have our Heart and Soul Virtual Expo coming up this Thursday. So the 25th, 26th and 27th of May. And you guys can enter for free. Again, you can see what's scrolling down the bottom there. Um, very, very excited about a virtual expo. Um, now, there's other things that you can do. We've got masterminds. If you, you if you are involved in a mastermind, I'm currently involved in a couple of different masterminds. And again, in these masterminds, it's highly likely that there's very like-minded people in these in these groups, right? Where, oh my God, the collaborations you can make are um, just incredible, right? Because they're like-minded people. And again, you never know where it might lead. So if you're really brave, <laughs> you can actually start your own um, 
either virtual or in-person groups. So I used to way, way back in 2020, <laughs> way back then, um, I actually, when I started doing um, coaching, most of you will know that I started with personal coaching, I actually started a meetup group um, which ran uh, alongside my group, which was then called Women Rising Above. And so I had, you know, I, I think all up, I had like about 600 people in this group and we used to run virtual monthly meetups um, where I had guest speakers and we, you know, we played games and we had a lot, a lot of fun. And then we went, we had a couple of in-person meetings as well. Now, because I started this meetup, I actually became known as a leader in the field right and it actually was what help has has helped essentially transition me into business coaching but um you know and this is what i'm saying is you never know where it could lead um it led to speaking gigs it led to other collaborations it definitely led to clients so i'm hoping that by me sharing all of this with you this morning has kind of highlighted to you guys how powerful networking can be and the fact that it is something that we shouldn't avoid in business. Please, 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 if nothing else, hear me this morning and say, hear me when I say that. As someone who did avoid it for a long, long time I, and got nowhere because I avoided it, um, it it's not going to work. If when you are brave enough to put yourself out there to harness all the networking opportunities that come your way, it does get easier um, once you put yourself out there, right? So, and, and I'll say it again, you know, for me to, to used to have to walk into a room full of strangers scared the crap out of me because I am quite a shy person. If I don't know you, I'm quite shy around you, but it's when I get to know you is when I kind of come out of my shell. And I think that's a, that's the same with a lot of people in business, um, but it's just taking that first brave step to put yourself out there. Um, so, you know, now, as I mentioned before, we have our a, an incredible opportunity for you to network is coming up this week in our Heart and Soul Virtual Expo. Um, it is happening. It starts this Thursday. Now, if you would like to, if you'd like to come in as a visitor, it's absolutely free. So you can just come in, join the Facebook group. Um, my beautiful assistant Parme is going to pop the link up in a second, um, and we would love to have you come and be involved. We're going to have it's it's not only um, you know a great opportunity to network, but you will get the opportunity to see a bunch of live trainings, live product showcases. We have like cooking demonstration. We have one card readings. Um, we have jewelry showcases, with all kinds of things. It, it is just huge, this expo. It's absolutely huge. Um, and we have, I think, <laughs> I've, I've actually lost count, but we have uh, 25 or so stall holders um, who we've got all their stalls, their stall albums <laughs> ready for you to go and have a look at, check out what they do, um, the products that they sell, the services they provide. And it's three full days. And not only that too, but you also have the opportunity to enter into a lucky door prize where most of our, if not all of our stall holders are donating lucky door prizes. So if you, if you think I get excited... <laughs> when I come when I do these presentations you wait until you see me do the lucky prize draw because I am like a kid in a candy store with the spinny wheel this it's it's dead set one of my most favorite things to do in my whole business is do the spinny wheel to see whose name comes up and who wins the lucky door prize <laughs> It's great fun so as it says there in the comments you can join us for free um it's free for all visitors. We have 25 odd stall holders who are ready and waiting to, to help you, to meet you, and you can have the opportunity to network and meet them as well. So I can't wait until Thursday. I'm, as you can, I'm very excited. Um, we'd love to have you join us in the Heart and Soul Virtual Expo and come and network with us. Come and, you know, put yourself out there a little bit. Be a bit brave. It's all virtual. Um, we, we're not doing it in person. It's all virtual. It's all held in the Facebook group. So would love to see you there, guys. Um, and I will see you A, in the expo, and I'll see you B, 
on next Tuesday for another Business Growth Insights training. All right, everybody, have a fantastic Tuesday. Bye.